<sighs> I'm sure you know by now because obviously it's the most, it's the biggest news in the planet right now is that Kobe Bryant, the basketball legend, the superstar, the phenom, straight out of high school to one of the greatest players ever has passed away along with his 13 year old daughter in a helicopter crash in Calabasas, California. And I wasn't gonna make a video on this, but I felt like, you know, if anything that I learned through this YouTube channel that I've created and, you know, the semi-success that I've had and the things that people leave in the comments is that, you know, my voice potentially could be speaking for someone who doesn't know or someone who can't portray their emotions or the feelings that they want to in the way that they want to. So that's what this video is gonna be about. Everybody knows who Kobe Bryant was on the court. Everybody knows, you know, his phenomenal athleticism his unmatched work ethic. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you about all that because that's pretty much everything that news media, that's pretty much everything that ESPN, Bleacher Report, that's all that they're gonna talk about is who he was on the court. I just wanna talk about real quick, you know, how sports relates to life in the way that it does and why Kobe Bryant's legacy will live on in the way that it will. Sports is something that people either like or they don't. And the reason why people love sports and the reason why sports is so popular is because whether you know it or not, deep down, like psychologically, you know that sports is basically, it's, it's life put into a two hour game. Just like life, it has its ups, its downs, it has its pressure moments, it has its pinnacles, it has its peaks, its valleys. Because the sport of basketball allowed us to see who Kobe Bryant was and allowed us to understand that who he was on the court, it's not straight just based off of his athletic ability. There's a reason why they call it a Mamba mentality because Kobe Bryant is the person who would show up first to practice and leave four hours after everybody else. He's the person who wanted the pressure. He's the person who wanted the ball in his hands when no one else did. And while yes, physically he was an athlete and he was like, he was someone who rose to the ranks from the high school level all the way to one of the greatest of all time. It wasn't his physicality that allowed him to do that. It was his mentality. And that's what a lot of people don't realize about Kobe Bryant. And that's what a lot of people don't realize about superstar athletes is that the physicality can only take you so far. That's what makes Kobe more similar to who we are as average everyday individuals is the fact that while we might not be physically capable of doing what Kobe Bryant did, and does, we could have the same mentality that he did in our everyday life and that mentality would make us better people. Kobe was a fighter. He wasn't someone who buckled under pressure. Kobe is someone who wanted the pressure on him and he would take the consequences of whatever happened from that pressure he would take the consequences and not blame it on anybody else. There were no excuses. There were no reasons. It's just my fault. We're moving forward or I prepared for this and we're going to triumph under this pressure. And that's something that all of us can live by. That's something that everything, that's something that everybody can take away. You strip away the athleticism and Kobe Bryant is just another person, but his mentality is what put him at the top. His mentality is what made him rise to the top, rise to the cream of the crop, whatever you want to call it, whatever phrase you want to use, his mentality is what got him there. And who's to say that we can't use or don't have that same mentality? Kobe Bryant and people like him, Derek Jeter, LeBron James, Tim Duncan, just anybody who's anybody in the athletic world, at the end of the day, they're really just symbols for who we could be in our daily life. And that's something that I always took away from Kobe Bryant while he was here. And now that he's gone, like the only thing that I can think of, it happened today, so this is like still fresh. The only thing that I can think of is that life is just too precious and it's too short. It doesn't matter if you live, if you're supposed to live to your 85, 105, or you're supposed to live to your 41 like Kobe Bryant. Death is never late and death is never early. Death is always on time. We can't say that Kobe Bryant has gone too soon because Kobe Bryant's death happened exactly as it was supposed to. Imagine all the things that led up until that moment. Imagine all the things that could have been different. Just any minor little butterfly effect, he would still be here right now. And one thing that I learned from every celebrity death that happens, whether it's shocking, whether it's something that I knew was gonna happen, whether it's somebody old, young, doesn't matter. One thing that I learned from every celebrity death is that death waits for no one. And if it can come for Kobe Bryant, who's to say that it can't come for me, that it can't come for you, or that it can't come from anybody you know next. Death has no bias as to who you are or who you were. And one thing that I always think whenever these celebrity passings happen, other than the fact that death is gonna come at its pristine, at its right time, is how are you gonna be remembered when death comes? Because at the end of the day, we're all mortals, and at the end of the day, it's gonna come for all of us. And are you gonna be remembered as someone who would always sweat the small shit, 
Are you gonna be remembered as someone who held grudges? Because right now, as the world grieves, as everybody grieves over Kobe Bryant's loss, because it is a big loss, and he impacted most of our childhood, and the NBA in the way that it is today in 2020, the way the superstars play, it's directly driven by someone like Kobe Bryant. He's many of the players that are playing today idle. But what I'm trying to say is as the world grieves, the last thing that anybody is talking about when it comes to Kobe Bryant are his riches. No one cares about the money that he's made. All they ever care about is the legacy that he is leaving behind, the person that he was on and off the court, the determination, the drive, the fire in his eyes, the competitive spirit, the loving father, the loving husband, what have you. That's all that ever, anybody's gonna talk about whenever they're remembering Kobe Bryant. No one's gonna talk about the multi-million dollar contracts. No one's gonna talk about the house in Calabasas. No one's gonna talk about his shoe deals. All anybody is ever gonna be remembered by, including you and including me, are the people that we were, the soul that we had, and the mentality that we had. Were we loving? Were we cynical? Were we begrudging? Were we someone who lived a life in, in the path of God and the path of righteousness? At the end of the day, that's all that anybody cares about. So if you're out there holding grudges against somebody, if you're out there not talking to friends, not talking to family because of whatever the reason is, you know, put all that petty shit beside. Put all that petty shit behind you. Because if you're a family member, if you're a friend, if you're acquaintance, your boss, whoever you're holding something against, whoever you have some type of grudge with dies tomorrow, are you gonna be like, this grudge was worth it? I highly doubt it. Chances are you're going to be regretful. Chances are you're gonna be living with that burden for the rest of your life that you were unable to patch things up with someone over something extremely petty because at the end of the day, everything is petty. Life is too big, life is too short, life is too grand for anything small. Just let that shit go because at the end of the day, none of it matters. It hits even harder for me because the, my barber who passed away, who I made a video about for, for your eyes only, J. Cole, like today was his birthday and Kobe Bryant was his, his favorite player. He idolized Kobe Bryant. So the irony and just the just the whole situation that Kobe would pass on his birthday, on his first birthday since he's been gone. That shit just strikes in a different way. But obviously there's not gonna be a video, there's not gonna be a reaction on this channel for today, possibly even tomorrow. My thoughts and my prayers go out to Kobe Bryant and his family, as well as y'all, anybody out there who Kobe Bryant impacted, because he impacted a lot of people. Even if you weren't a fan of basketball, you knew who Kobe Bryant was. But that's all that I gotta say, guys. Go out there and love your family, love your friends, You know, tell, call somebody, tell them you love them because death can come at any moment. Like I always say at the end of my videos, guys, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Peace.